Hello and welcome to today's South Sunday treble. Uh, games in the middle eight and the championship shield to look forward to today. See if we can land a treble. We were a bit unlucky on Friday, like I say, um, Huddersfield duly obliged for, for leg one. Then we had, in, in the, the game at Langtree Park, we advised Hull and the handicap conceding, I think it was 16, but uh, I mean, we certainly didn't advise them to beat St. Helens like they ended up doing, but we definitely thought they could score enough points to stay inside the handicap, which is duly obliged. And unfortunately, we thought Wigan could stay inside six points at least. Controversial game with a few very contentious decisions, but that, I mean, that, them do happen, but... Uh, if they'd ultimately it'd come down to Matty Bourne's kick at the end, if he'd have converted that try, the, the handicap, the margin would have been five and would have been inside the handicap land under the treble. But never mind, we'll go again today, have another go. Obviously, you know, this is just fun bets, really. There's nothing to go too crazy on. But anyway, the first leg of our treble today, well, I think we'll look at Sheffield getting a 32 point start away at Witness. Now, Witness in the past have struggled in the Challenge Cup at home against sides in the Championship. Now, the views he got over the line, I would say Sheffield is 16-1. to 1. It'd be absolutely crazy to have a look, even have a look at that. I can't see that happening. But Witness have struggled in the past to, to, to land big scores. And obviously, again, last week, for long periods, I think about 75 minutes, they were only four points got away at Halifax. And I think Halifax were battering the line towards the end. I think for long parts, Halifax more than matched Witness. And uh, Witness scored two tries at the end. But obviously... No, that was only 14-0. This is 32-point start. I think Sheffield can put up a good show tomorrow. I think they can stay inside that. It's a big handicap. This is a really tough series, this middle eight. You know, there's some big games, and uh, you know, Witness will just be happy to get over the line and get a win, you know, move on. I, I, you know, I think they'll finish in the top two, them and Hull KR, but I think you know, that 32, that, that's a lot of points to, for them to win by. So I, th I definitely think Sheffield can stay inside that. Second, is another game in the middle eight. It's Lee. Getting 10 points start away at Salford. Now, Lee are 5 to 2 to win the game, Salford 2 to 5. I'm not really sure about Lee winning the game. I think last week would have took a big knock in confidence for them, losing that big lead against Hull KR. This Lee side's got plenty of tries in them. They're brilliant to watch going forward. You know, they've got likes of Briarley, McAnally, and, and Kayo scoring tries for fun. So, you know, I think they can score enough points to definitely stay within 10 points of the Red Devils. Now, Salford had a win last week, and, you know, they're possibly 2 to 5. They're possibly land odds of winning the game, but. You know, they're not by many. Again, they conceded points against Wakefield last week. Well, this is a big game for Salford. They'll just want to get over the line. I mean, in the seven games in the middle eight, Salford have only got three at home. This will be their second home game. So they've, they, after the next, after the last five games, four of them will be away from the AJ Bell. So they'll, they'll need, they'll want to win here to keep up pace with Hull KR and Witness. So, I mean, oh, you know, I probably stay away from the match with us, but I definitely think Lee. Can score enough points to stay inside a 10 point handicap, so it'll be Lee for that one. And third leg is Dewsbury away at Batley. Now, Dewsbury only conceded six away at Batley. I know this is quite a feisty derby, this one. There was 11 points between these two sides in the league, and Dewsbury won last week in, in the first game in the Championship Shield. And Batley actually lost, so there's quite a big golfing class in the league table. So I think I don't think Dewsbury can win this by more than six points. The, the 4 to 9 to win the game, and Batley is 7 to 4. Like I said, I think. I think 4 to 9, you know, that's decent odds, but for me, I, if pushed, I would say, yeah, take, take the 6 on the handicap for Dewsbury to win the game by more than that. You know, if you want to play safe, like I say, just back them at 4 to 9 to win alongside Lee plus 10 and Sheffield with a big handicap. Now, the other games, Halifax get a massive 20 to 1 cut, so win away at Hull Kiara with 40 to 1 on. Handicap's obviously more realistic, it's 30. Now, I must admit, I'm struggling to see where I'd, where I'd stand on this one. I mean, they defended really well, Halifax, but they obviously tied towards the end. That, that really strong effort against Witness could take a lot out of them. Hulky, I have had some big wins at home in Super League this season. And like I said, they'll, they'll gain a lot of confidence from the Cup semi-final win. And plus that great comeback second half against Lee last week. So I think if pushed, I'd probably, I'd probably say Hulky, I would cover that 30-point handicap. But... I don't like big handicaps. Like I say, if Halifax scored three tries, which they're more than capable of doing, then Hull can need to go above 50 to beat the handicap. So I'm not, I'm not a big lover of big handicaps like that. But it pushed, I suppose, they're looking at the the form in the league. The home form is really good. I mean, they smashed way feel at home. You'd, you'd, you'd probably say they'll probably cover that. Now, the two other games in the Championship Shield, you've got Featherston, who are conceding a 38 point start away at Doncaster, only won once in the league last year. Doncaster get a massive 25 to 1 quote. Obviously, you know, the men in white coats will be coming for you if you go anywhere near that. I just, you know, Feverson have been quite disappointing this season. They've shipped a lot of points, but, you know, Doncaster, they, they, they've had some bad beatings this year. So maybe you possibly think that Fever would just, just about cover that. But again, it's a big handicap, so it's very, very risky. 
And finally, you've got Workington conceding 12 points at, at Hunslet. Now, Hunslet 3-1 to one to win this, and you know, that's, that's not bad odds if, if you're looking at it. I certainly think they can keep Workington inside two scores, but uh, yeah, they're 3-1. to one. People might want to look at that. I mean, work works are a better home side for me, but... Uh, and it's it's a good it, it, it's a good bet and eat that one, like I said. But for me, looking at it on a, on a whole, it'd be Dewsbury minus six, Sheffield plus thirty two, and Lee plus ten for the South Sunday travel. Let's have a bit of luck. See you later.